Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this series, we are talking about our attendee information add-on. In previous two video, we explained about the attendee information add-ons functions at the front-end event submission form and in the back-end event submission form. Today, we're going to talk more about the registration fields on the checkout page. For that, we need to visit our front-end site. Let's go do that in a new tab. Then we can visit our event listing page. So from here, we will select our newly created event. So in our previous video, we added this event and assigned some ticket for it. And now what we can do, we can select a quantity for this event. This ticket is not only one per customer as we can set for this event, of course, but I didn't set it for the demonstration. So let's go ahead and order this ticket. So we are now at our cart page. From here, we can update the order and verify it as well so we can check our product name our product price our product quantity and our product subtotal right so let's go ahead and navigate to our checkout page as you can see i have my billing details at my left hand side and i have my registration fields over here in this right hand side right so what we can do we can open the event on the event dashboard over here at our back hand side so that would be this one so from here we can scroll down we will see our attendee information collection type that's set to buyer only or each attendee right and in the right hand side we have attendee informations to collect full name email address and our phone number so this phone number is a custom input indeed what we can do we can open the dashboard in a new tab to show you that it's a custom input so under event registration and the registration form we will see the phone number being added as a custom field in our previous video but we do have a dedicated video about this field how to add a new field to our registration form how to modify this existing one or even remove them so let's switch back to our checkout page from here we will see we have the full name email address and phone number right but since we bought two tickets we still have one single registration to deal with right why because we set this attendee information collection type to buyer only but we can switch back to each attendee and update this event then we need to reload our checkout page we will see now we need to enter two registration details for this ticket since we have two tickets we selected two as a quantity now we have to enter two registration details for this purchase so keeping that out of the way we can modify this field what fields to accept and what fields to not from here as well suppose we don't want any full name right we can check this off and click on update then we can reload this checkout page and we will see the full name input field is gone what we have left we have email address we have phone number right for both of the tickets so taking that to a bit further we can even add a new field let's say country and we don't really need a validation for this field we can save changes then we need to reload this event submission form we will see the country input field coming over here as well right so we have checked off the full name few seconds ago now we can select the country as well since we have added a country field to our registration form right we can select that we can update this event need to reload this checkout page we will see the country field is coming over here in our registration section at the checkout page right and since we didn't set the validation required for the country it even shows the optional text right beside the label for our registration data so from here we can fill out these ticket details so let me go ahead and fill out these details for the registration we are doing So I have added the details for the registrations. Now we can go ahead and place the order to complete the purchase. So in here we will see our order confirmation page, but keeping that aside, we can go to our registration dashboard to view the newly registered attendees, right? So this is our two new registered attendee for this event. We have just purchase the ticket for right so we have the total ticket number as one 
since we have set the attendee information collection type to each attendee if you would remember correctly in our previous video we didn't set this to each attendee we set this to buyer only so what that made possible we were able to enter only one registration details for multiple ticket quantities and that reflected in the registration dashboard as single registration but with total two tickets right so this would be the quantity of the tickets you are purchasing but if even supports the buyer only attend information collection type so in short this buyer only information collection type will accept one registration and will show the number of total tickets you are buying and will assign that registration to those all tickets as well but if you select this each attendee section for the attend information collection type you will need to enter different registration details for all those tickets you are buying right and they will appear as a individual registration for that event at the event registration dashboard so i hope this video makes our attend information add-ons concept a much more clear to our users i hope you will find the attend information useful as per your own needs let us know in the comment how you use it as well so that's pretty much wraps it up for this video thank you for coming along i'm shalal signing off and i'll catch you in the next one